Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant Team Bell. No code. Team Secrets turn to Bell. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant Team Ban. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Team Secret versus a flip side tactics. It's our next game up on the stream, and the European qualifier has gotten tight as a tiger right now, as everyone is just hoping to avoid the dreaded tiebreakers and team secret are in the Inside thick of it time. absolute thick of it if they get a victory here they still like only have a chance where maybe they they can level up for the second positions but that direct spot going all the way to ti to it's up for grabs team secret need to win after they lost in their previous series today oh Hit your button, bro. Luckily, this should be what Team Secret hopes for. A morale booster in Flipside Tactics, who are the beating stock of the European qualifier. They are one, one and for six. six. <laughs> and they have only beaten the ninth place team. And they are currently firmly in 10th. So, Team Secret, mm -hmm. if they lose this, they are almost certainly not first and might even fall out of the top five but yeah. that is that is a little far-fetched actually they, they would just be tired yeah they, they'd be in that fourth slash fifth territory speaking of top five fantastic five being leveled up with escape as the top two teams out of the european qualifier that's not what I was expecting from Fantastic Five. Escape, I was thinking maybe no, you, they could you do it. super tight, man. The, what? All, all the teams are super close. Yeah, definitely. But I, I was kind of expecting, like, uh, like Secret to at least have, a, like, a stronger performance than this. I, as far as Alliance go, I was actually expecting them to be exactly where how they are. How are you gonna, like, not going to expect the qualifier teams to go far? Like, qualif mm -hmm. super, the European qualifiers are mega tough. Yeah, they were. They are super tough. If you can get there, you're definitely not getting ninth or 10th in, in this group. Mm. Like, I, I would say, yeah, the open qualifier teams are, and anyways, pretty good. So, Team Secret, first phase, Terrorblade pick. Natural <laughs> Counter has already been banned out by Flipside Tactics, and they are all business. Yeah, it also helps when you pick up both your supports on Flipside Tactics, so you got no other like other secondary uh, option. You got Tinker. You do have Tinker. You do have Tinker. Secret might be out Tinker. Flipside Tinker was not that great. I watched it versus I forget who. M mm. I did not get to see that game. I forgot who they played, but they got rolled really badly. Oh, I know. It was versus uh, Illidan's team. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic five. Yeah, look good. Yeah. yeah I hate them, man. They're, they're hitting nicely. In fact, they're playing a Tinker right now. Yeah. Tinker's kind of pretty hot in the EU. Tinker, are they going to ban Tinker? I think he's one of the few cores that deals extremely well with Terror Blade. Well, they take out the Death Prophet instead for the third ban, at least. They have one more up their sleeve. Terrorblade gets owned because of the Ag. The Ag just destroys Terrorblade. He has five, five uh, like units, including his illusions, mm -hmm. max, and then Rocket and hits four, and Refraction bounces in between all of them. Yeah. The, be the beautiful laser Ag's upgrade. Yep. Aside from that, uh, Slardar is definitely not the counter to Terrorblade. It's actually one of Slardar's not good matchups at all. And then... Elder Titan's also really good. Those are Elder Titan and Tinker are the two best, I think, for his Terror Blade. Mm -hmm. Probably explore some more. I, I just can't believe we're getting through this this level of the draft, and we still have both Ricky as well as Lifesteal are still in the pool. Yeah. Like, Secret could still run this on their safe lane. Oh, no, they'll put the Terror Blade in the mid. Um, actually, you know, they can't combo it. 
Unless Puppy starts getting really creative with his junglers and sends himself in there as a dark seer. You never know. <laughs> yeah, you with never Puppy, know. Actually, with Puppy, you, you do, do never know. You do like, never this, know. This is the guy that, that uh, invented the jungle storm spirit. Ten seconds remaining. The jungle pudge with the ion shell and smoke. Iron. Or Ten actually rotten remaining. smoke. You know, it's, Puppy has kind of really done, done most of the junglers. That ones that you might deem near impossible. However, most of those have been patched out already. And yeah, most of them were because of exploits with uh, like bottle coring and things like that, uh, and other things. Sonic Remnant was over OP when he did the Storm Spirit one. Oh, so they did ban out Tigger. That's actually very surprising to me. And there's pure damage is the Terrorblade's worst enemy. So Axe banned out by Flipside, good versus Dazzle, but they could have used it themselves. Uh, mm. Timbersaw. Panned out, so the only one left that I can think of that does significant amounts of pure damage is Tinker. Seconds remaining. I'm trying to think of anyone else, any other hero that does pure slash. Tide Hunter. Not unless Magical. you, not unless you have Ags upgrades, and even then, you. Quap, I suppose. I was, I was, yeah. I was thinking Quap. Uh, I was thinking Lena. Yeah, like with the Ags. You need AOE though. Yeah, you do. Last Strike of Rain Slave gives you a little bit of that, but yeah. not enough. Not pure. Not, not up against like a big farmed up Terror Blade. Like if he's able to pick up that Scotty early on, you just won't have enough. Five mm -hmm. seconds remaining. But you get a Tide Hunter, so there's some good AOE control from flip side. Oh, he's very good for Terror Blade. Counter team fight. And Shadow Demon is now Team Secret's pick, and what a surprise! Uh, we've seen these heroes comboed so many times. More and more Terror Blades to be created as you just assault with the early Dragon Lance on the Terror Blade up into the Tier 3 Towers. Tinker looking better and better and better and better. <laughs> you learn, if Tinker doesn't get picked, are you just gonna like completely just tilt? Like so hard. I'll just assume that flips it. Oh, care greetings everybody. For some reason we came oh. up on camera. Hello. Uh, hi. <laughs> that happened. That happens. What else is good? Uh, that's about Tinker. it. Tinker. Tinker seems to be good. What do you think, Ben? Is Tinker a good hero? Tinker. I think is Tinker might be a good hero right now. Kind of imperative. I'm trying to think of anything else that they can do though, because they still have two cores left. So, Gyro does a lot of AOE damage. Yeah, but no pure and a lot of physical. I, I'm still worried then about like the initiation of Flipside, that it's a little too dependent on Ravages and... You got Earth Spirit, man. Earth Spirit, yeah, you got Earth Spirit, but... It's dependent on two of your three heroes. I think that's pretty good, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> that's I, pretty good. I, I, I've seen Earth Spirit's boulder in today up against Terror Blaze and get completely snapped, so... Pre-weave. pre weave pre Pre-grave before yeah. he rolls and, in. And then Sunder, bitches. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> There's no silence to control him apart from the one the Earth Spirit's gonna offer. That's why. That's why I kind of preferred seeing. Um, hello, Alc. Uh, seeing the Lion pick up against the Terror Blade worked a lot more effectively oh, yeah, like earlier it. today. Yeah. But they already picked up both their supports at the start, which is why they're sort of locked into now just getting the best cores they can. Alchemist and, and the Tidehunter should be able to pump out a fair amount of farm. That's a lot of minus armor. Weave, Gush, Acid Spray. Mm. Although, Shadow Demon uh, picked already and you're going to pick an Alchemist into it. I see this Alchemist just mega feeding. It could easily happen. And even if it gets farmed, Shadow Demon just makes illusions of Alchemist instead of Terror Blades. It's not even... That they're not even that concerned about it. Uh, so now for Team Secret. So another Dire Side Ursa. We'll see if this one's going to be more successful than the last. Then again, the last one was very successful. Alliance Ursa. Ursa was actually very successful. It's mid Ursa, though. Uh, Alchemist. Yeah, it is. CTY special. Yeah, we just hope this Ursa doesn't have meet the same fate as before. And that leaves Team Secret with one more support hero to pick up. So, normally you turn to a jungler. That was actually what uh, Puppy turned to when the axe was banned at before. I don't the Night Stalker banned. You need a jungler? I think you need someone to go into their jungle. You want to steal Alchemist Axe, and I think you also want... Uh, 
Like, Terrorblade solo versus Tidehunter is not very good, so I think you need another hero down there. I guess you, Shadow, Shadow Demon is like, okay. Really. You know what's required? Enigma. Enigma would, I would not be completely opposed to. Reserve. It's a jungle puppy hero. Yeah, they could, they could get away with it, I, I suppose. And that way at least you offset the Alchemist farm a little bit. I'm never on board with that though, the, the <laughs> trading farm against farm for Alchemist. Yeah, you're not going to win it. But at the same time, the amount of pushing power you're going to get from it is going to be pretty damn good. And the combo with the Darkseer is really nice. Yeah. Means means the Darkseer can go for more initiating items. Uh, because then you've got like two natural mech carriers. Yeah, they don't have any lockdown though. They're raiding out all the heroes that are good versus lockdown. I guess they could also go Storm. But I still think Tinker is like godly. <laughs> but you, you can't run it unless you're going to push the Alchemist to the safe lane now. Or you push the Tinker to the safe lane. What's wrong with Alchemist to the safe lane? Uh, well, just because you do it. <laughs> still do it versus you have Earth Spirit and Dazzle to somewhat deal with the Darkseer. They have no no lockdown for the Tinker. Like Reflection, I suppose, can like stop his Blink Dagger, but like Ghost Scepter owns Terror Blade and Ursa, not that great for Shadow Demon. Mm -hmm. But assuming they're not going to pick Tinker, let's see what else they have up in stores. Team, Team Secret, as you mentioned, like we're, we're missing hero. both the Ivis heroes, which have been so popular, the Bounty and the Ricky. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you can get I, away. Either with of them would be okay. You have Darkseer. Those are enabled. Like, they're pretty good without Darkseer, but with Darkseer, they're mm -hmm. especially good. You can also do Spirit Breaker. I wouldn't be terribly opposed to a Spirit Breaker, although that's not really Puppy style. Yeah, it really isn't his style. It, it, uh, it if it was the other CIA, yeah, like, it was Fantastic Five, then maybe you'd be like, hey, this could, this could be an idea. Uh, that's Puppy style. Ogre Majai. They is... have a lot of armor. High armor for Dazzle, Tide, and Alk. A roamer that can contest. Someone he that can zone out Tide. Heavy buff hero. Everything's nice. Uh, I don't know. Bloodlust's not that good on Ursa. He already has like max attack speed. <laughs> That's okay on Terrorblade, but his illusions do a lot of damage and you can't really multicast all the time on him. But it's good in terms of it being tanky, putting pressure on the Alchemist, being able to zone out the Tide. So flip side. Answer back. You're up against a uh, fair amount of stun, fair amount of damage, a lot of push, a lot of control. What's going to be their final call? Press T for Tinker. T for Tinker does sound like a good idea, slark. but it will be a Slark. Ah, slark is so so here. It doesn't match up that well versus Darkseer. I think they're going to have a lot of problems with Bulba's Darkseer. Like, Dazzle's not that good as any amount. Earth Spirit doesn't want to babysit in a safe lane, but he might have to this time. And then there's already going to be a Shadow Demon running around on the Alchemist. I must say I favor Team Seeker's draft a lot. They got away with the first pick Terrorblade Blade without it, be it being countered. Mm -hmm. They have a great Roach lineup. They're on Dire, and their offlaner is going to get a lot. Puppy's free to roam around. He's not really scared of these roamers. Like, what is Earth Spirit going to do versus Ogre running at you? You can slow him, yeah. you can stun him, but Ogre's just going to laugh at you <laughs> twice over and club you at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Time for first barracks destruction. Alright. Well, that's, uh, that's a little harder. 20 to 30. Uh, it should be around it should be around the right time when Terra Blade's pushing. Total number of Roshan kills. I'm going 0 to 2. I don't think it's going to last that long. First player to buy a Blink Dagger. Yeah, you, you do have Secret with an Ursa on Dire side, though. You actually think they're just going to end this game? Yes. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for three. I'm going to go for yeah, three. Three's, I think... three's, uh, three's reasonable. I'm going to go with Secret. RTZ the first player to buy a Blink Dagger. Uh, it could be Slark, though. Uh, Slark's generally prefer Shadow Blade nowadays, though. Player who gets the longest kill streak. RTZ. Oh, here comes a fight already. Let's get rid of predictions. They're looking for a stun. Over towards that. Over towards the Dazzle. First stun with the Iron Shell damage. Already getting in the Fury Swipes too. They need a little bit more slow to arrive. And, uh, okay, that'll do it. Disruption. Full surround. And they find the kill. That is first blood going the way of Team Secret Are against Dazzle. Are you still Dazzle. sure there's going to be three Roaches to No, I'm actually changing my prediction. Yep, there you uh, go. We're going to get a two. Longest kill streak. I put our tour. Yeah, TZ would be... Ah, I, I would actually think about Eternal Envy. Yeah... I... Yeah... I'm, is, going, I'm going with RTZ. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to go with RTZ and Envy, but I'm going to go 3-4, so we split up a little bit. Okay. Oh. 
We can't we can't have both the same answers. Dyer have not placed too many of the rewards yet. Just one near that bottom rune, radiant. They yeah, look at that defensive award up on yeah, top. That is very defensive. I like that's not even like Riverside. He's he's really worried about who's gonna rotate in behind him. Why is this Iron Talon on chicken? <laughs> it's very unusual. Uh it belongs to Shashlo. It belongs to the Tide Hunter. Yeah, you know, I, I is, is he trying to hide it? You would just drop it at tower. So well, weird. So bottom lane, Bunskull gonna boulder himself forward towards Puppy. The iron shells are being brought up. Cedo is actually burning very heavily because of that. Puppy needs one more attack and he's gonna get it. That is a very, very a seven armor and almost 650 HP you gotta get through in order to kill that ogre. An optimistic boulder ends with the death of your safe laner. I think they're used to like weak supports and bullying out the Darkseer, but Ogre is not a weak support. He is the opposite of weak support. He is one of the most tanky supports in the game. You cannot run at him at level one <laughs> unless you have a lot of heroes. Oh, well, they had three of them, and even that wasn't enough. They have Ion Shell <laughs> against two melee. How are you going to tank that? You cannot. You don't, obviously. <laughs> you feed a kill away. Oh, Team Secret. It's a start they really needed as well. And so, uh, as you said, this is a confidence building style game. Flipside oh. have had real issues trying to find any any kills They're not and any the... victories in this competition so far. I'm surprised they didn't do the mid uh, mid Ursa. I guess they want that matchup versus the Tide because they block up his spawn and Tide Hunter. Is maybe not maybe a good MP also just feels a little bit more comfortable. I guess a Terror Blade farming in the mid. He has high armor, so he doesn't have to worry about acid spray, but. I would say it's more so like Ursa can, can kill Tide. That's cool. Bob was gonna body block him. There's the Ignite. Puppy still has a stun in one second time. They again. Okay, Team Secret. I swear they've been practicing their their SD strats. Uh, even if it wasn't Pilot Eye being involved this time around, that like the illusion surround they were able to do on day one of this group stage, combining up with Eternal Envy, was absolutely spectacular. And again, this positioning really really good from them. Pilot Eye looking to perhaps set up a kill onto the mid lane. They do have a server award scouting out. If anyone's coming from behind, Vanscore will dodge that, but Public Bay? Like... Yeah, they they want part uh, of this mid lane. Someone is about to get disrupted. <laughs> Vanscore's gonna boulder over, he'll find Puppy, but huh. like, what do you wanna do? <laughs> hey, hey, that is a that is a lot of rolls of fat to get through. That is a well insulated ogre. Two hero smoked. Dazzle. They're actually pinging to go towards the mid. Uh, or at least drawing to go towards the mid, but it's the same time as Metamorphosis has just got triggered by Envy. They have to hit a very nice Shadow Wave, and that is very difficult versus the ranged Terror Blade. At least they get some good timing when Pilai Dai is leaving. Uh, at the same time, Slark just got solo. No. There were two of them together. It was Ogre and and, Pop, and Bulba together. Oh, they're going to make a move onto the mid lane. Eternal Envy. Yep. Trying to run this out. Back towards the tower with PMS. Makes more of himself. Panscore. That's a lot of damage he takes. And they and he attacked him just at the end of the Metamorphosis. Yep. And now Envy always going to do his bottle and salve. He doesn't even have reflection. That's how not scared he is in this lane. <laughs> and how concerned about efficiency. Shoshlo in a little bit of trouble. Pilot I opting not to use as a disruption there. The run for the rune. Obviously, ogres are faster. Ignite as well. He does have a stun of Veil, actually. He doesn't, if he wants to consume the mango, but it's not really required. Just not force him off the lane. And uh, this CS is unbelievably imbalanced towards Arteezy. I think I chose wisely as far as the blink dagger goes. Is he even going to rush blink before the mask? Hmm. Not sure. There's no one in top lane. I think you can just get away with doing Roche because flip side very unlikely to fight unless tight under six, but I think you can do it before he's six. Wow. It's yeah, it's, it's a toss up. Like does RTC even want to rotate to try and find kills, or is it just rotate Roshan then force towers? I think you just kill Roche because terribly can do the pushing of the towers. Easy bottle refill as Puppy does that for EE. 
I'm gonna instantly they harass in, into this uh, into this alchemist. The alchemist has 14 CS. It's not that bad when you've got Greaves to try and offset it a little bit, but still, you're being out CS by a Terror Blade in mid lane. And you're not finding any real answers. In fact, you're losing too many heroes. Now it's up the Cedoy, the Ignite, the Stun, the Iron Shells are up as well. And, uh, well, no Dark. It's, he took forever to Dark Pact, in fact. And the longest kill streak currently belongs to Bulba. Mr. 302. <laughs> this is a super easy game for Bulba, though. Uh, they're going to find another one. Disruption. Again, they move for the surround around the Dazzle. He does not have Shallow Grave. So Poison from Pylai Dai should even get the kill. But it's going to be a four kill streak now arriving for Bulba. Rack him, stack him, and pack him. 6 0 now for Team Secret. Prediction when will Flipside get their first kill? <laughs> uh, prediction I'm going to say like 12 minutes after Team Secret is so fat they decide to just over, over dive. On flip side. Uh, I will go with 17. 17? 17. Actually, I feel like Puppy's gonna die for that. Oh, I'll just say 17. <laughs> Why Puppy? Why Puppy? Because he's the one that's most likely to die because he's playing super aggressively with the Ion Shell and he's Ogre. He's also baiting him to come for him. And now with the Pounce away, Cedoy. Ah, uh, that's the Dark Pact. So Poppy knew there was no point setting him up, but Envy. Got a team up here with Pylai Dai. Take me while just trying to farm up the uh, the camps quickly, and it's going to be the poor little Dazzle who comes in close. Envy activates the double damage. He just needs one more attack. Okay, make it two with the extra heal that was there. But that's a double damage Terror Blade doing over 260 damage a pop. Under that tier one tower should not last. And he had Soulcatcher on him. <laughs> <laughs> Amplification through the roof. So he so, did buy the mask first. Just uh, really far Alchemist away. doesn't actually have his chemical rage available. Now he does. Envy, one last attack will do the job. He only attacked with his illusion on that last one. But that is going to be the death of the Alchemist. And it uh, looks like. Artis, he does find that kill. He bought a full Mask of Madness Radiance over on the Ursa. Did Flipside even get a kill this game? Uh, mm. I, so I said, like, it's Team Secret, they dominate so heavily that then they overcommit underneath the Tier 1 tower. And the only thing which would probably help you establish that kill is the Ravage from the Tidehunter, but he's still shy of level 6. The Slark doesn't have enough mana to really do much. Okay, pounce forward, Eternal Envy. Uh, difficult to get a kill when he can just Sunder. It was a very early Sunder. Might have been worried about the silence from Vanskull, but now a Cedoy who's underneath the tower. He really wanted that kill. Disruptions up from Pylai Dai. Envy will send in illusions, but Cedoy, the pounce away, down to 2 HP. And the poison, he has to leap away to avoid it. And that's going to be Roshan the way of Arteezy. Envy can take the haste rune and just run back to base, or what's he doing? Oh, it's Arteezy who takes the haste rune. Envy will get the ball charges. That everyone from Flipside's headed home. They're all so low. Apart from the Dazzle. But he can't stand by himself, so they move to the bottom lane instead. And now it's time to a TP. They t they actually ping out the tree line spot. But Take Me Wild just jumps a little bit further over, so he's far enough away from the son of Puppy. Puppy will find no one. Envy still being pretty bold with no reflection. <laughs> eh, I guess that's okay. I don't think he really cares at the moment. It's right. really good defensively, I think. Oh, Arteezy. Mask of Man's available. Gonna try and, uh... Okay, he gets half the life off Sarshlo. Not too bad for when he's going through a thousand HP. And, okay, Take Me Wild's in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Thought he could farm up up here after his teammate already abandoned him. This seems like a very disconnected flip side lineup as far as how they are approaching this game. I agree. So, level 7 on Tide. Maybe Smoke Gink? Well, maybe Cedoy. Dark Pack pounce away. But it's uh, Vanskull who also has to boulder himself away to safety. 
Yeah, Eternal Envy is not for going for any defensive items. You'll usually see raindrops on Terra Blade because that's what he's most susceptible to, Magic Burst, which is... What, I guess coming out from... Boulder Smash? <laughs> yeah, yeah, where's that magical damage? Pounce. Yeah. 40 damage. Gush. <laughs> Ravage. Okay, there you go, Ravage. That would be one thing. But instead... Dyer has you skin. They have hit the heroes. They know where the kink is coming. Terror and Blade will reveal. Uh, if he walks in, <laughs> he's got an Invis Rate. Better to... detection. He can actually break everything because no one brought a sentry or dust. That is a very timely Invis Rune. High five for predictions. Ah, oh, it's easy. Instantly puts the Blink Dagger to work, attacking into the Dazzle. And Team Secret. Get more kills, our zero. zero. So. Yeah, this is getting ugly. 11,000 gold lead, 11 minutes into the game. 11 0 for Secret. One kill a minute, 1,000 gold a minute. Why not, Team Secret? Just. It's it's just it's just Secret things. Puppy. Ace runes up and uh, just charging forward. Sorry, I should say surged up. Charging up after Vance Core. And they, they just call it. An 11 and a half minute GG call will arrive. Vent score will drop. And the end score will be 12 to 0. That was. Alright. That was fast. GG. GG. Yeah, that was kind of well warranted. I do not blame Flip Sled at all for that. I actually think that was a good.